Hello friends, in this session we'll be taking a look at Jabbix Monitoring Appliance. So Jabbix is an enterprise level open source monitoring software which is capable of monitoring your network via SNMP, uh, via uh, agents deployed onto your Windows and Linux machines as well as other kind of regular monitoring for example a web server 80 port, HTTPS 443 port, ping and whole host of various different templates are available. So what you are looking at is my home network where we have the central point, uh, the router, the main gateway router. Then we have a couple of filtering devices and workstations and our load balance clustered access points uh, as well as a failover device. So in this kind of net, uh, network diagram, this is a live diagram which you can put on a monitor next to your network cabinet or your main uh, panel area. And at a quick glance, you will be able to see which device is having a problem. It's a continuous monitoring. For example, if I switch the severity level to information, uh, there are a couple of information level alerts. You can click on the device and look at the problems. And if it's a repeating known problem, you can ignore those problems or you can get notified about these problems. So uh, I'm not going to talk about the installation of Jabbix itself. You can download the ISO uh, available from Jabbix website and install it onto VMware or other hypervisors or VMware workstation itself. But what I'll be going over is what kind of uh, configuration is needed after the appliance is ready to go. To very, at the very beginning, you need to define your discovery networks. For example, I have defined two discovery networks, IoT LAN and uh, the regular LAN and given it the IP ranges. So this is not sufficient. After this, you have to go to actions and you have to create discovery actions. So for example, a host is discovered, you want it to, to add it to your host list. So host addition discovery actions. So after, if you let it run for one hour or so, in the discovery section, you will start seeing, uh, seeing all your devices which have their ports open. So it won't be able to discover any cell phones or those kind of devices which do not have any old port open and which cannot be scanned from outside. Those you will have to add manually. So going over to the host section, once a host appears and is added to your host list, you need to enable templates like monitoring templates. For example, we have this particular machine and here we have attached the agent type of monitoring. So for that, you will have to install the agent on the machine open the respective ports and then when you come to templates apply windows by jabbix agent template there are plenty of templates available in jabbix for example snmp generic snmp network snmp linux snmp and ping https a lot of different types of templates are pre-built into the appliance after this the monitoring starts and you will start receiving alerts you have to configure your SMTP server also in the configuration action uh, media section, basically administration and media sections where you have to define your SMTP server and give your users an email address and then you'll start receiving the alerts. So that being said, so let's come to the cool part, how to start build your map. So if, you, if we edit this map, the very first step is to add a map element. Map element comes with a default image. You can change the image according to the type of the device. Then you can attach it to your host, your predefined and pre-configured list of hosts. Select it from the list and apply it. And it will automatically connect that map element to that device which is monitoring as well as it will start receiving live on-screen updates for those map elements then you select with a control click you select two devices and you can add a link between them then change the color of the link etc 
from this uh, properties pop up so that's basically how uh, then you can add shapes also for example you have a hypervisor and you want to build a block around it and place all your virtual machines inside it for example we have done it here in this diagram here are all the various virtual machines and their monitoring is being recorded on this diagram now talking about a uh, network it's uh, i'll suggest putting in a dns uh, ping check so for example if somehow this connectivity goes down you want to be alerted about possible resolution failures dns resolution failures as well as connectivity checks so this is kind of a three pronged uh, connectivity check the two dns servers as well as uh, cloudflare's you can pick up any ip which is always available for example google ips or uh, cloudflare ips for doing a connectivity check uh we you can place this diagram on a small panel next to your network console and at a quick glance you'll be able to see what is going on in the network and take actions on it you can maximize this also so similar to this our my development lab also has a diagram and automated internal network monitoring on it uh, so that I can be alerted if any of my virtual machines go down or not or are not operational, etc. So good luck building your Jabbik appliance and creating a live monitoring dashboard or a map. And even it is possible to do if you have geographically dispersed uh, servers or uh, devices you can place a geographical map behind this and have the actual placement according to the region where the device exists thank you